In today's video, I'll be showing you guys every single working glitch for all of Minecraft. And guys, these glitches will work in the latest edition of Minecraft, being 1.20, 1.1 for Java, and 1.20, 1.2 for Minecraft Bedrock. So no matter on what Minecraft you're playing on, these glitches will work for you. And guys, before we get into the video, as you guys can see on screen right now, only about 1.2% of you watching are actually subscribed. And if you got any of these glitches to work and found this video helpful, please do consider subscribing, as it does mean a lot. And without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the first glitch, which is for Minecraft Bedrock, and that is the Minecraft Bedrock duplication glitch. As with this glitch, you can duplicate every single item item in the game. Here is everything you need to do this glitch. You'll need a chest, 10 pieces of dirt, and all the items you want to duplicate. You can duplicate stacks of items like the loot I've shown on screen right now, or you can even duplicate entire shulker boxes filled with any items you want. So just go ahead and grab all the items. And once you have all the items right here, depending on which platform you're playing on, you're going to want to use a different amount of dirt. So just follow the image on screen right now and get the correct amount of dirt for the device you're playing on. Since I'm playing on PC, I'll be using 10 dirt. And guys, another note, if this glitch doesn't work the first time you try it, just try playing around with the amount of dirt used. So add one or take away one and see which works best for you. But once you got the correct amount of dirt, go ahead and place that on your chest just like this. Grab your dirt and place it two blocks high. Just like this they used up all your dirt. Now, once you've done that, you're going to want to press escape and save and quit. And guys, now that you're in this main menu, you're going to want to make a copy of your world. As with any of these glitches, there's always a super, super tiny chance something might go wrong. So to do that, press the pen icon right there and press the copy roll button. You should have a copy of your world. Go ahead and go inside. And as soon as it opens up, open up the chest, place in all the items you want to duplicate just like this, then start breaking the dirt blocks. Make sure that you break all of them. And once you're done with that, you're going to want to break the chest. And as soon as the chest breaks, you're going to want to Alt F4 out the game as fast as you can, just like that. Then you can reopen your Minecraft. But guys, make sure that you actually force get out the game. So if you're playing on PC, you can press Alt F4 or you can press Escape and press the red button in the top right corner. But if you're playing on console, you're going to want to first go into your home menu, then press on Options on Minecraft, then force close the application that way. And finally, if you're playing on a mobile device, all you have to do is go into your Recent Apps menu and swipe away Minecraft from there. But once you've reopened your Minecraft, go ahead and go back into your world. If you did everything correctly you should have all the items in your hotbar and you should have some leftover dirt like this and the chest should be back in its place and if you open up the chest boom just like that we've successfully duplicated all of these items and as you guys can see on screen even the shulker boxes are filled with emeralds and the items we put in it. Now for the second glitch, we have the XP and all item duplication glitch for Minecraft Java Edition. With this glitch, you can duplicate any item you want, but in this video, I'll be showing us how you can use it to get infinite XP. And guys, here's everything you need to do this glitch. So there's actually two different ways for you to get XP. So the first method includes getting a bunch of ball or enchantings and using those for the glitch. And you guys can easily get these by trading with villagers or looting some pillager outpost. Then for method number two, you'll need a grindstone, and a couple of enchanted items. These can be tools or even armor. So go ahead and grab everything. And once you guys have grabbed everything, go ahead and place down your barrel just like this. And now for the next step, you're going to want to lag out your game. To do that, press escape, go into options, then video settings. And in here, put up your render distance and simulation distance all the way up. Then your biome blend all the way up as well. Then go ahead and put your max frame rate all the way down. Once you're done with that, if you go back into your game, it should be super, super laggy. Then just open up the barrel like this and place in everything you want to do. Then you're going to want to press Control Shift Escape. That should pull up the task manager in here. Press the open data here platform binary and press end task. And within a couple seconds, the Minecraft launcher should open up and you should get a crash report just like this. Just exit out for now and go ahead and reopen your Minecraft. Then go back into your world. And if you guys did everything correctly, the barrel should be open like this. And when you open it up, boom, just like that, we have all of the duplicated items inside just like this. And once you've grabbed everything, just press escape, go into options and video settings and return these settings back to a more reasonable amount. And once you're done with that, if you guys did the first method with the bottle or enchantings, all you have to do is just use up the bottles like this and get as much XP as you ever need. But just be sure to leave some behind so that you can duplicate it again and get more XP. And for those of you who did the second method, go ahead and place down your grindstone like this, then open it up and place in one of our duplicated items and remove the enchantments and boom just like that with just one of those items we're up to level 5. And if you guys did this with a whole bunch of them, you guys can get a whole lot of levels. And guys, the more enchantments the items have, the more XP you'll get in return. So once you're done with this, you can just duplicate it as much as you want, as much XP as you ever need. And guys, a quick little tip. With these glitches, there's always a super, super tiny chance that something might go wrong. So to stop that from happening, I'd suggest making a backup. And to do that, you're going to want to press escape, save and quit to the main menu. Then just go into the world right here, click on it, then press edit. Then go ahead and press make backup. Coming next, we have the X-ray glitch for Minecraft Bedrock. So here are the materials you'll need to do this glitch. You will need one piston, one slab of any kind, a lever, a solid block of your choice. It can be dirt, cobblestone, or anything you have lying around. 
and then one layer of top snow, which you can obtain with a silk touch pickaxe or you can just craft it with some snowballs. And then optionally, to make the x-raying better, you're going to want to get yourself a night vision potion and some spyglasses. So once you guys have everything, all you have to do is go to the location where you guys want to x-ray. If you guys want, you can x-ray on the floor like this or up in the mountains or even deep underground. So no matter where you want to do it, you're going to want to start off by digging two blocks deep just like this and then placing down a slab right there. Now jump into the hole that we just made and then facing any direction you're going to want to knock out two blocks just like this and then place down your piston. Now on the face of the piston you're going to want to place the grass block or the temporary solid block that you bought and then grab your lever and then place it on top of the piston just like this. And now if you guys want to be able to see better you're going to want to drink your night vision potion right about now and then all you have to do is flick this lever and then place the layer of top snow on top just like this and boom we can x-ray. Now with the help of the spyglass we can see everything around us. So as you guys can see there's a bunch of caves all around us and you can even see all the exposed ores like the iron over here, the coal over there and of course if there's any diamonds you'll see them too. And of course if you're lucky enough you can even find a trail chambers just like these ones from the surface and obviously if you dig down there and just like that you find yourself the massive new ruin. And following it up we have the x-ray glitch for minecraft java edition as well. Here's everything you need to do this glitch. And guys the potion of night vision is just optional but with the potion you can see far better. So go ahead and grab everything. So once you guys have everything all you have to do is go ahead and dig down just like this until you get to the spot where you want to x-ray. Then just dig a few blocks in just like this. Then break these five blocks just like so then you can grab your stairs and place one facing like this and one more on the other side as well now place your stairs in a loop so as you guys can see it should look like this and it's really important that you get this step correct then grab your trapdoor place it down here open it up then make your way into this little hole and activate the trapdoor so we go into the prone position while here skip this block right here and place a piston just like that and on the face of the piston place your slab now all you have to do is grab your lever and place it above our piston and now before we start x-raying if you guys have your potion night vision this is when you use it so just use it like that then flick the lever and boom just like like that we can x-ray and see everything you want as you guys can see there's any visible or should easily be able to find it like the coal over there and if you do this deeper underground you can easily see diamonds as well and last but not least we have the xp glitch for minecraft bedrock and with this glitch you can get infinite xp and this glitch is super super useful and to do this xp glitch you will need 35 temporary blocks these can be any blocks of your choice for now i'll be using cobblestone and a stack and one of these bottle of enchanting you guys can easily find these bottle of enchantings in pillager outposts and once you have a couple you can duplicate them until you get a stack and a half or you can even just trade with villagers and get a couple of these and once you have a stack plus one of these bottles we can do the glitch so the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your inventory and then take our cobblestone blocks and fill in your entire inventory with these blocks just like this and as you guys can see the last one should have two blocks now all you have to do is go a couple blocks out like this then just throw out the extra one bottle enchanting like that then go back a bit so you don't accidentally pick it back up now open up your inventory and then fully block it up like this now make your way to the bottle we just dropped and stand over it like this then go into your inventory again and now what you're going to want to do is select the full stack of bottle enchantings right here then you're actually going to want to pick it up and quickly close the inventory as fast as you can so i can do that by left clicking and escaping as fast as i can and as you guys can see, it didn't work this time, but just try again. You're going to want to get the timing right. And if you get the timing correct, it should look a little like this. The whole stack of items should be nowhere to be seen. And in our inventory, we should have just the one extra item. And once and once you got this part of it to work, all you have to do is press escape and save and quit. And guys, by the way, now if you're doing this in your single player worlds, you can just enter the world as soon as you've closed it. But if you're doing this on realms, you're going to want to wait about one to two minutes before reopening your world for the glitch to work. As this glitch will work on realms and any kind of worlds you're playing on. So if you're playing on realms, just wait a minute. And if you're playing in single player worlds, you can open it right back up. And if you did it correctly, in your inventory, you should see the full stack just like that. And if you press E to open up your inventory, boom, we have another stack on our hand. Now just replace it with one of the temporary blocks. And just like that, we got ourselves 63 extra bottle of enchantings. Now all you have to do is just use it up like this and get all the XP you want. But just make sure to leave one extra so you can do this glitch again and repeat it as much as you ever need. And you guys, that's it. Those are five useful working glitches for all of Minecraft. 